for the let's play that we started and we we're really enjoying welcome to episode 11 guys we'll be uh going through route 7 hopefully going up to uh the next gym area which is i think we'll have to see but think once we get the uh, thing it's gonna be church 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 Chester and we'll face the rock type gym up there and we're gonna have fun so this will be our sixth gym and hopefully we can do really good I think we're decently rev leveled up for this oh there's Sonia Hey, yeah, uh, the badge catching, badge collecting going well. I've been doing some research on the runes in Stone Side, the Sword and Shield. What kind of Pokemon were they? Where are they now? I still have so many questions. I was thinking about taking a look at the tapestries in Kaboom. Are you kidding me? What was that? Hammer Black Stadium shook. That's where Charon's Rose Power Plant is, isn't it? Uh huh, a power spot? That's right, the power spot detector reacts to whenever it's when it when it's possible to Dynamax. Hey, Sonia and Danny, too. You felt the shaking, right? Seems Chairman Rose is testing something again. This is bad. Pokemon might start Dynamaxing right in the middle of Hammerlock. Is that so? I can make sure the Chairman knows. He'll just get lost, Leon. I'm going to. I'm really looking forward to see you complete compete in the finals. So you should leave the investigation on the quaking to the adults. Head to Churchchester and get that gym badge. Oi, oh, oh, Danny. What's up, Hop? What's up, buddy? First that force, then that mad quiz. I've been lost in every sense of the word. But it looks like I finally caught up to you again. Come to, with me to Route 7. I can use a bit of competition to motivate me. Okay, Hop. Just don't get mad when you lose. So, I think I'm going to start off with Sir. Oh. Uh, Charmeleon can go to Drizzle. We'll start off with Rapidash. Galarian Rapidash. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, technically, this was not the same team that I was running when I played uh, Shield. I had a very, very different team than this. <laughs> Which I'm proud of. Let's see if there's anything else to buy here. Mega Punch, Mega Kick, all the terrains, Fire Fang, Ice Fang, Thunder Fang, Mega Kick, and Mega Punch. And no. That's cool. Trainers who become champion are just too strong. I feel like challengers should be given some handicap, like having a 10 Pokemon team. I go to the hair salon every day in order to maintain my ha hairstyle. I do my job every day while imagining how strong each passenger on the train must be. Okay, let's see what the check <laughs> check the poke dog <coughs> pokey jobs. So let's see what they got. Start with this. Okay. Oh yes, let's see. 
Do I have enough fire types? I'm not so sure I have enough fire types. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a little bit bad. We're looking for psychic types. Okay, let's see. Do I have psychic types? I'm pretty sure I do. Psychic. 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 Yeah. We got the Gigantamax Senti Scorch. That was cool. Um, I feel like I do have another Psychic, I just don't remember. Uh, no. I do not. That's tragic. I could spend Rapidash, but I want that on my party. Okay. All of a sudden, those four all day. We need an exemplary normal types. Okay. Hmm. All of a sudden, ingredient. Uh, we have more normal types right here. Oh, well, the Eevee. Ice type. Fog type. Ground type. Fairy types. Uh, with cooking. Oh, uh, let's see how many ground types do I have. I don't think I really have a lot of ground types. Yeah. Rocking ground, ground. Oh wait, we do. I don't have a lot of bug types, I don't think. Oh, I see three here. Four. Oh, we do have enough. Okay. Is I want to use this differently for the bug types. So we got <coughs> so how many do we have sent out for? All right, let's get it around seven. Do 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 do. All right, Danny. You and I both know. Why did this shut off? Don't do that. Ah, I hate this thing. 
You and I both know that I've got to keep on trying different strategies if I'm going to get stronger. I know, to catch up to Lee. No, not just catch up. I will, if I want to surpass him. So, I think you know what's coming, mate. Let me try out my latest in the battle against you. I like... To me, I like Hop. Hop is better than what Hal, Hal, Hal was in both Mon's soul, uh, Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon. I'm not really... I didn't like Hop so much. So, if you guys want to let me know, who was your uh, favorite uh, rival in the uh, Pokemon... Uh, Pokemon series. I have like a bunch. I think I really liked blue or Gary and I did like silver But I also feel like hops awesome too in this game. I really like him They gave him character development, which is the best for a character Hmm Yeah, I'm gonna switch to Dreepy not Dreepy, Sir Fetched. Or Madame Fetch. That's not gonna do very much because that's not very effective. Throw chop. Gone. The way you battle, you know, it reminds me of Lee. <laughs> So, what does Silk do? It changes the person to another water type. Yeah, no. <coughs> That's a lame one. Cinderace. Okay. So, you're sending out Cinderace. Not so happy that you're sending out the fully of our form of your team. I mean, Hop, you do realize I'm gonna wreck you, even though I'm still not fully evolved. I'll use my water. I can't use agility. You're already faster than my my starter right now. <sighs> Come on! It's using agility. I, I really cannot believe that this is doing that. Way water. And I still wrecked your cinderace with my Drizzile. Such a weird Pokemon. Bolton. Uh yes, I do think I have a switch for that. Yeah, no thank you. I don't want to face I don't want to face a Bolton with my Drizzile. Your Bolton's cool, but high horsepower from Rap Galarian Rapidash is gonna wreck you. Bye bye. Bye bye, Bolton. I really like the design of Yamper's Evolution, but I was pretty happy with what I got. Yes, I'm gonna go back to Servage. Please, first impression. Do a little bit of damage. But yeah, I'm glad you guys have come to join me in watching the the let's go let's play for uh, Pokemon Sword definitely glad I got the new uh, graphics for my for the game cuz yeah it, it was a little bit hard trying to find someone to make graphics for this series and of course we had a had someone else do the graphics for the next two series except for one of them I had to make the uh, thumbnails for it. 
a heap more. Interesting. But yeah, I, I really love that even though I haven't gotten very many views, whoever watches this just to have fun, this is fun. I'm the kind of guy that gets fired up to win in these situations. Are you sure, Hop, you're going to win? Because I, I have good authority that you're not. But yeah, I really like creating this content. I haven't done a full-scale Pokemon series and actually completed it. So this is going to be the first one. This is Gen 8 out of the other out of the eight gens that I've played because of course I didn't have the uh, graphics card for the 3ds this is rubbish my team can't perform if I can't get my own head straight as their trainer no Giselle we're not evolving yet <coughs> will happen very soon but yeah I have I really appreciate the people that watch it if you do like and enjoy it just like subscribe subscribe to my other things like my Super Saiyan God Rage for uh, Twitch and Hit me up on Twitter. Tell me what I need to do differently if I'm doing anything wrong. Before we ever started out on this journey, I remember watching Lee on the telly. He was like a bright star, so strong I could hardly bear to look right at him. But now I can tell just how strong he really is and what he's got that I haven't. But I'm getting stronger too. Maybe not as fast as you, but fine. Whatever. Thanks for letting me battle with you again. And here, I'll help. I'll heal up your team for you too. I think I know what it is I really want. I want to battle Lee. I want to take on my bro. But not just that. I want to beat him. I want to be the one who beats the unbeatable champion, and I'm going to. My main. My mind's made up. You and me are going to have another battle once I get my ba gym badge in Churchester. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed this this game. This game is so cool. And, uh, I mean, I can't wait to start the other ones. But well, I'm going to take my time with this. This is why I'm taking so much time playing this game. Everyone else is like on episode 20 or they did 30 episodes of, of, of Sword or Shield and they beat in the game and then now they're bored of it. I don't want to be bored of this. This game has very much a lot of, a lot of potential because when, when I first saw it, I wasn't really expecting to actually play the game. Well, I was, but to be honest, I didn't think I was going to be playing Generation 8. I played Generation 7, and yes, it was a crapshoot of a time playing Generation 7 because there was so many, so much talking, like 6, Gen 6, or yeah, Gen 6 with uh, X and Y, with all that talking and all the scenes that you couldn't cut. It was really annoying. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon was interesting because it was a different timeline where you'd have to face how as a champion. It was really interesting, but I feel like they missed the point in the game. And I I still love the game, don't get me wrong. But it never felt really, really interesting. This game, yeah, of course, this game's a little bit more easier than the other games. But I like that it challenges you in, like, the puzzle areas and stuff like that. This game's fun. And I can't wait to see what more they add to this game. Because it could be, it can be one of the greatest Pokemon games. And it probably is because it's sold like over 6 million copies already. 
That's ridiculous. And probably more during Christmas time for the people that couldn't get it on the on the uh, release in uh, November. I mean, I played Pokemon uh, Shield and beat it in maybe like four four days, maybe three days. And I absolutely loved it. The max rate battles are awesome. Being able to play with your friends is awesome. Like, I'm definitely bringing some other content, like maybe some challenges, like Quick GG and uh, Chill and Play actually do, where, where you catch six Pokemon, maybe even max rate, get six max raids. Catch the Pokemon and then battle them, battle out with the uh, the moves that they have. I really feel like it would be an interesting series, but as like a, a side series to the main series that I'm gonna have is I'm definitely having Cage Lock and a three way Wonder Lock between Sword, Shield, and Shield. I think it's gonna be fun, and you guys should enjoy it. But Thank you guys for watching. It just makes me feel happy that as a content creator, even though I'm not consistent, I want to make this consistent for you guys so you guys have fun. And it doesn't look my look like my game's going to freeze, so that's good. So, you psychic. It's going to do nothing because, oh, I resist, psychic. It's not very effective. Every Bombi was pretty trash. If I do say so myself. Now, we are keeping old moves. Yeah, this the queen is not what I want to face. So, I think I'm going to use... <coughs> Charmeleon. Oh, and here we go. The game is gonna start doing stupid stuff. Okay. Stop. Sorry about that. It does this so often and it annoys the crap out of me. There's always something with the rift shell with something here. And when I first had the rift shell, I did this. But I mean, I'm used to it. Yay, Treat B42. Okay. Give me a second. We will get through this. No, Drizzile, we're not evolving. Uh. Okay. I don't want to get in battle, so... Give me one second, I will fix this, and... Ah, god dang it. It's doing the same thing. I don't want to be fighting. Oh, there's a thievel with a. Oh my gosh, it's so. So give me a second, I'm gonna try to fix this. Let's hope this works. If not, I'm gonna have to, uh... Um, I'm probably gonna use high horsepower. Okay. 
Oh, well, that's gonna hurt. So hopefully this fixes what graphical issues I'm having. Nope, it's not. Okay. Gosh darn it. Why does this always happen to me? Okay. Give me a second. We're going to fix this for real though. Because this is annoying. Alright. Sorry, we're going to go dark for a second. This in. Put this out. Put this. In. Sorry guys, I'm having technical difficulties. I'm not liking that. And really shouldn't be doing any of this. Calm down, why? I'm really not liking this. We got Charmeleon to 44. No, stop. So I'm going to pause here. <coughs> I want to see the see Thievil's, uh, sorry. It's got Sucker Punch, Nice Slash, Tail Slap, and Quick Guard. What is this ability? Unburden. Alright, so we're gonna save here and uh, end this thing. So, I'm gonna say that we should be. Oh god, what the heck? It's a leaper. No, I do not want a leaper. Leaper. Sorry again for that uh, inconvenience. I'm running. And hopefully this thing doesn't keep doing that ridiculous thing. Because when I first got the uh, the capture card, it was doing the same thing. So, I'm used to it. And here we're going to see our, our boy, Phalanx. Oh god. No, Gadur, I don't want you. Damn it, Gadur. Why do you have to be such a freaking bulky Pokemon that blocks the area, man? <clears throat> You're not even worth my time. Psychic will one-shot you. Get out of here. Toxicity is 45. We're getting pretty high leveled for a Pokemon. And of course, I'm going to use a Hyper Potion to heal up Rapidash. And there's not a lot of Pokemon that I do want. Besides maybe catching a Phalanx. It's a science. It's a, a doctor. I shall now closely examine the health of your Pokemon. Okay, dude, but you're not gonna win. Dr. Joanna. What do you have? A Rosalia. Yeah. If it was a Roserade, I might. I might have problems. But you're using a Rosalia. That's not that scary, my dudes. Hatrin. Yes, I do have a Pokemon that can take out Hatrin. You really think Hatrin's gonna be your saving grace? Hatrin is psychic soul set. Bite it. Shreepy so fast. Brutal sweet. Oh no. Ow. You're not very physical. 
But again, Creepy is not super really physical either. It's got a bunch of special attack. I do like that Drapey's getting pretty decent. You did good for your Pokemon. Who, who saw me? There's a Rufflet. Which is cool. I would love to get a Rufflet. Yeah, Ruffles like attack. <laughs> You're cute and all, but I don't see you being integral with my team, though, Ruffles. Scary face. You think scary face is gonna win, my dude? My dude, what are you trying? I don't think you understand how... Okay, well, you really did some decent damage, man. And I'll heal. Thank you. Leftovers. And now I'm gonna catch you. Because, Ruffle, you're not a big Pokemon. You're, you're a decent Pokemon, but... When you get to Bravari strength, yes, then you're a beast. But right now, Rufflet, you're not a, not what I would want on my team. The Phalanx, yes, I would love to have Phalanx on my team. But in my other game, I use Phalanx on my team, so I'm trying to stay away from using the Pokemon that I used in my other team. The only one that's really, uh, I really want to keep on my team is Toxtricity, which I also used on my other team. But everyone else, Galarian, Galarian Rapidash, Charmeleon, Drizzile, Creepy, and Surfetch, yes, they're all new to my team. So over here. There's a good air. I see the phalanx. Uh, lynx. I really don't like that good air. It's so freaking ridiculously blocking everything. The good air, you're not good. I don't even like Conkledore. Good air, Timber. Conkledore, yeah, no. Ronzong, you're not even worth my time either. I have my team. I have my team. Thank you, goodbye. <coughs> Thank you, have a good day. What is that? What is this? It's a Basharp, okay. Or a It was cool looking, though. I was not expecting it. At first, I thought I saw a Pokeball with a freaking slash, and I'm like, wait, what? At least the other one right here. These guys are a little mellow. And the Pioneers aren't so uh, ridiculously in the mood to. Kill. There it is. It's the phalanx. I don't want to kill them, so I will use uh We got so many freaking super effective attacks. Do nothing. Yeah, I feel like Phalanx was a really good design Pokemon. It looks so weird. It looks like a caterpillar. And 
there's their special move, no retreat. So it's got all of its stats frozen. I really don't want you to retreat though. They're not retreat, but kill my my Rapidash. You should be captured, my dude. There we go. And shield. I had such an issue trying to catch up the links. I killed. I actually killed the one that I was trying to catch, and it kind of sucked. Five of them are troopers. One is the brass. The brass orders are absolute. Formation Pokemon, but one of one of the YouTubers that I watched was called these things a caterpillar, and it kind of looks like one. It's kind of funny. But yeah, we could go over here, Let's see what's over here. But there's trainers over there, and getters. I don't want getters. Leave me alone, getters. Look how fast that one was going. Really ridiculously fast. Eat, 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 eat. No! Oh. There's too many aggressive things that want to chase you down and fight you. Look, I'm not in the mood for it. Leave me alone. I have a level 44, I can destroy you in two seconds. Don't make me want to. Oh, it's a soul. What? What is that? Oh, it's a haunter. That's cool. I am haunter. I don't want to play. This is fun of me. Oh, it's a Toga de Maru. And there's a. There's Soul Rock. Well, Solar, I don't want to play with you, so. Thank you, goodbye. You are the weakest, and then goodbye. So there's always one there. Ever want to see what's up here? Big nugget. Fight them. And then there's a full links here. Ah! Bring all your crazy man. Those are fast full links. We can just wait right here. Watch them go. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, there's another one up here. Then of course we have a dwell right or not twelve or twelve uh Russell. I'll probably <coughs> wreck this thing. I really don't like twelve I don't really like Russell that much. Crustal. So we're gonna get the TM over here, which is very great. Oh, no, I don't want to. 
I'm super cute, but I'm carrying super duper strong Pokemon. Succeeding as a businessman depends on communication. I get along perfectly with my Pokemon. Are you sure about that, dude? Well, I already have two Pokemon that's gonna get destroyed, so eh. It really doesn't matter, so fight. I have horsepower against Expert Drill and Lily Water, which is gonna hit both of them. Berserker. And just fake out on Nice job. Everyone's going down, so it doesn't really matter to me. Who you do? A critical hit on the posing berserker. Get wrecked. Extra drill. Who are you gonna send out? Cause they ain't gonna live. You guys should have had better Pokemon. Your Pokemon are strong and cute? I'll sell this victory to you. I'm short on pocket change. Of course, the results get in try to evolve. I don't want that. No, thank you. Jermillion is gonna try to evolve. I don't want that. No, thank you. Alright, I think there's something over here. That was a decent thing. Oh yeah, terrain extender. And, like... Like, as we are almost so good work. We're not even close to Church Chester yet. We're gonna hit through Route 8. Oh man. I was hoping we were close. Don't stop me. That's no. That is a snob. That's cool. Yay, we made it. The here is bath before we learn everything. And the boulder bath or rock, rock bash. Terrari Market. And now also... So, I'm thinking this is gonna be a... free Pokemon battle, because literally... Let's do what we need to do. There's no point in just really. Let's 
Boy, I want to tell. Yay, catching her. So yep, we got the catching turn, which is gonna help catch us, which is pretty cool. We're going down. All right, let's get to business here. We need to face the uh, gym leader. So surface up here. I could raise a. Uh, our little boy. The kitchen charm holding it is said to increase the chance of getting the crow who catch. Curiously, the charm doesn't say shake that much. Okay, interesting. All right, I'm ready. Ready to battle the gym leader. We can do this. This is gonna be probably easy. All right, let's let's do it. It's hot. Our guy lost. It all went to pot. There must be something wrong with my strategy, but I did just what I seen Lee do in battles. Here, take it. This is the rock top. Rock leader's lead card. You should check out the gym leader. You'll have to face two. It's Gordy. And I think I found in me. I gotta figure out what to put on my team once and for all, and no more of this doubting. So I think what's really cool is for elite cards, you know. I got Gordy. I feel like Gordy is uh, if you play Sword and Shield, his mom is Mel Melody, I think. Gordy is a young rising star that many suspect will be the champion someday. The rock type Pokemon are typically known for being rough and unrelenting. Gordy has worked hard to achieve victory through a refined and graceful battle style. He always tries to keep his fans happy, thus is very popular with the audience among the audience. On the other hand, he has a surprising tendency of shutting himself away in the locker room when he's defeated, making post defeat interviews a rarity. This doesn't bother most of his fans though, and they see this Behavior as endearing. So there's Marnie's card. Raihan's 241. Opal's 910. Bea's 193. Hop Beatty is 908. Champion Rose. Cobb is 187. Ness is 49. Milo's 831. Hop is 189. My best friend Eric's 25 and Leon is one. So let us uh, get to this gym challenge. And let's let's meet our friend the ball guy. Hey there, thanks for rolling by to have a cha chat with your mate the ball guy. I heard a wishing star fell to you. That means you were chosen by the wishing star. And that also means I got a Pokeball for you. It's the moon ball. Moon balls are curious Pokeballs. They're very good at catching Pokemon that evolve by using a moonstone on them. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? And then, Cory, the uh, rough and tumble voice. Welcome, Gym Challenger. Do you want to attend the Gym Challenge? Of course. 
If you want to attend the mission, then you'll need to change into your new uniform, the dressing rooms that way. Thank you for telling me that the room is that way. I didn't know it was that way. Make sure you receive to receive the trap detector up ahead too. You'll need it for the gym mission. So I feel like this one's really interesting style of gym. <coughs> And shield is ice, so it's the same premise of the thing, except for it's not sandstorm, but snow, the, the freaking snow. And it's so hard to get through it. Would you like to hear the details of the gym mission carried out at, here in Churchester? Then allow me to explain a little bit about the trap detector. You hold in your hands. The reason you'll need it is simple. There are invisible pitfalls everywhere in here. If you fall into one, you'll have to start again from the last platform you reach. The detector will vibrate when there's a pitfall in front of you. The closer the hole, the stronger the vibration. Then on with you, and good luck. So. Yep. Okay. Yep. Run away. I've done this one before. Yep, I've done this before. So I'm just trying not to fall in. <coughs> hey, you used to walk. Hey, you used to walking around in Sir Chester Stadium yet? Not really, but challenge gym trainer Abigail. Interesting. Oh, you're sending out a boulder. Not liking this matchup. Just one shot. <laughs> Surfetch is not amused with your silliness. Dreepy's level 43. You felt so confidently. I see. You got to have confidence. Yeah, and the fact that my Pokemon are stronger than your Pokemon. <laughs> yep, I knew that was gonna happen. And I knew that was gonna happen as well, so. Uh, yes, this is such a neat. Jeez, I am failing right now. But we'll get through it. Done this before. Can't really run through it. It's another girl. Rock types are really, 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 really amazing. I'm not sure about that. Sorry, Kira. That cross Such a lame Pokemon. Scissor. Or type's not very effective against fighting. That crustle out of here, man. Rapidash 45. Did I make you understand how amazing our types are? No, you didn't.
crazy. These trainers are just crap. Oh, we send out a carpool. Interesting. I don't think you're gonna withstand the uh, super effective brick break. I knew it, cuz. Yeah, my team's really up there. There's a 1.5. For these amazing qualities. Number two, he's slightly and stylish. Did that almost flawlessly. No, we made it. We did wonderfully, just wonderfully. Now, Jim Challenger, join me on the pitch. Jim, mission clear. Do 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 do. So we gotta do uh, Gordy's voice. Let's get this over with. I'll give him the cool swath. Kakashi. Hey there. The name's Gordy. I admit I feel a little bad for doing this to a gym challenger, but... I'm gonna have to use this match to show the crowd that my Pokemon are unbeatable, Kakashi. So let's get this over with, Challenger. Will Gordy beat us? A barbacle. What level is your bub barbacle, dude? Bub barbacle 40. <coughs> A critical hit by our lovely Sir Fetch, or Madam Fetch. Do 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 
not very effective. So my speed fell. I'm still faster than you, Stone Journer. Stone Journer. Critical hit by Rapidash. Sent out shuffle. I think I know what I want to start off with. Do 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 Send out your shuffle. It's gonna get obliterated. Oh, you almost got obliterated. Power split. Okay, you're gonna do that. I'm still stronger than you, so it does not matter. Alright, you're gonna send out the Gigantamax Colossal. Well, I think I have the Pokemon that's gonna neutralize your, uh, your, uh, Gigantamax Car Col Colossal. Not yet! I'm not crumbling to dust just yet! Kakashi! <coughs> Max Knuckle. We are gonna Dynamax our Surfetch. Like a giant blunt mountain boulder. Hiya! Gigantamax Kakashi! I really like Colossal's uh, Gigantamax form, it's really cool. Surfetch used Max Knuckle! Oh, that barely did any damage. Max Flare. Yeah, decent amount of damage. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? I'm gonna use another Max Knuckle. Can you survive this Max Knuckles Colossal? No, you cannot. Kakashi is down. <laughs> you defeated Gym Leader Gordy. I just want to climb into the hole. Well, I guess it's more than... It'll be more like falling from here. Kikashi. Sorry, turn me Leon. You're not evolving. Yet. That was impressive. Rules are rules. Here, take the rock badge. This rock, rock badge. Do 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 do. Bang! You can now catch Pokemon up to level fifty. Oh, don't worry about me. I just need to train harder. That's all. Dun 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 dun! We got the the rock badge. 
as a celebration of your victory, as a as a celebration of your victory over Gordy, take this TM. Rock two. Not a good move. And here's a special uniform. It's the same design that Gordy wears, and that means it's extra cool, like Kakashi. The rock badge looks good on you. You're doing great, Challenger Danny. Yeah, let's look at her Pokemons. Look at her Pokemon. I would get a pop that, but that's that's like stealing a page from a Nappy, even though Nappy's no longer in the Pokemon community. That battle was brilliant. That gym gym leader was tr or tough, but you had no trouble. Sir Chester has some really great restaurants. I got some things I want to talk to you about, so let's head to a restaurant to celebrate your win. The name of the restaurant is Bob's Your Uncle. I don't understand why they named a restaurant Bob's Your Uncle, but I'm not going to uh, complain about that. So let's go down to Bob's Your Uncle, this little place right here, and see what's going on. Got that gym badge, Danny. Nice one. Oh, hey, there you are. I swear my voice has changed every time. I've been trying to find out more about the darkest day in the Sword and Shield Pokemon, but still no luck. Wait, hold on. No way, what's this? A fifth tapestry? The heroes look sad. And where are the sword and shield? What was the meaning of this picture? Some kind of seal? You think so? I guess it could be that they were sealed away. Or maybe they'd gone into some kind of sleep. Based on those statues we saw back in Stoneside, the sword and shield were actually two Pokemon, right? That's right. That's my take on it, at least. You remember the Pokemon we met that day? Do you think it could have either been one of them? Either the Sword or Shield Pokemon? You met them? Come on, you know what I'm talking about, right, Dane? In the slumbering world. Exactly! That mad Pokemon we ran into the fog. Don't you think that could have been it? Oh, right. That, that's right. You ought have been in the slumbering world. I always started on this journey because my gram told me to, but this is turning out to be too much fun. You gotta tell me more. How about we just discuss this over a meal? Go on, what do you want to eat? Let's get our orders in. Yeet. Fascinating. All right, the next thing to do that now that we're done eating is to have a look at Churchester. Let's inspect the hero's bath. All right, let's do it.
the hero's bath. They say this is where the two heroes came to soothe their wounds after the battle to bring down that evil presence long ago. Nowadays, only, nowadays, only Pokemon really use the hero's bath, though. Hmm, who exactly were the heroes that bathed here? I think I'll have to look into that. You two met a mysterious Pokemon back in the slumbering world. Perhaps you two become can become the new heroes. What, like some hero waving around a sword and shield? Pull the other one. Though I guess I'd fancy a sheer shield if I had to take my pick. What kind of battle do you think the heroes had back then? Why don't we show her, Danny? Think we can pull off a heroic battle? Absolutely. Sonia treated us to a great meal. After that, Carrie, I feel like I've got the energy to wrestle a beware. I don't entirely understand your reasoning, but I might as might just as well see what you can do. I'll heal your Pokemon up for you, Danny. So give it your best. Time for a little ex ex exhibition match starring the future champion. Pop, I, are you sure about that? I love your confidence, but I don't know about that. <laughs> So you're gonna start off with double. We're gonna start off with Drippy. I'm counting on you, partner. So okay. Welcome back. Oh wow, that's good. I'm just finishing up recording, so I shall see you guys after I make my sandwiches. So, double. Let's finish this battle, and I think I'm going to end the episode off after this battle. So, let's use break. Break, break. Takedown. Dude, you're just injuring your Pokemon in in that sense that I'm gonna win. Now that's a proper move. Stay on, partner. I feel your pain. We'll get them back for it. Double fainted. Good. Corbinite. Yes. Nice corner night that you got there. Really is a cool Pokemon, but I'm sorry. It's over. Charmeleon 37, Surfetch 45. I'm gonna keep old moose. Cinderace, okay. Why do you keep trying to send out Cinderace in this nonsensical babble, man? Like, that's not even worth it. Cinderace comes out at 41. You only got seven levels, Hop. I don't think you're gonna win. Mega Kick. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna be very powerful. Enough to whisk destroy Cinderace. <laughs> Just, sorry, Cinderace. You're, you're not good enough. So, Drizzle 46, Dreepy 44, Rapidash 46. Creepy's up there. Rapidash is up there. Incursion. Yes, I do know what I'm going to send out. My lovely Galarian Rapidash. Oh, 
when you just have high horsepower and just wreck it. And now, I'm gonna send out Snorlax, right? Now you're gonna do it. Think you got me cornered? Not even close. I'll be the greatest when I win this comeback. Oh, that's not gonna happen, buddy. If he slammed, that's gonna do a lot of damage. I said I was not done with my recording. Oh. I was gonna finish the recording, make my sandwiches, and then go to sleep. <laughs> and there goes my Galarian Rapidash, yay. You're just, you're just, just, <laughs> okay, my brain's not working, it's just, uh, prolonging the inevitable, because I am going to win. Ice slam. And Snorlax is gone because of the hail. Good job. That was a nice try, Hop. I still can't even beat you, my true rival. But I'm starting to see the light. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. Not yet. Soon, though. Soon. Nope. Charmeleon, you're not evolving either, so don't try. <sighs> Thanks. You two gave a right proper battle. At the right, you're both going... Even the unbeatable Leon might may be in trouble. So what's next, you two? I plan to look into the things in the slumbering world. I'm gonna keep gonna keep challenging that gym. Then once I get that gym badge, I'm heading to for route night to take on Spike Moth next. Seems like he finally shook off that gloom. Leon worried if Hop wasn't feeling alright. As his rival, you wouldn't like that either, right? See ya. Thank you, Sonia. You're cool. And now I need to heal my Pokemon. Because I'm not happy that I lost the uh, Rapidash. Got Rock Tomb. We got the Moon Bowl. Let's heal up. Rapid Ash and every one of our Pokemon. Well, technically, let's just go to the Pokemon Center. And after we're done at the Pokemon Center, that is the end of this episode. Thank you guys for watching. It was very much a pleasure to uh, fight the Rock Gym Leader, Gordy, and get through Route 7 and 8. So, it was very fun. I uh, thank you guys so much and i will see you guys later and hopefully tomorrow we'll get through route 9 fight the spike moth gym later and also try to go for the uh dead game x snorlax that they have in the game and maybe with change one of our party members to actually be the Gigantamax snorlax it it might not happen we'll see anyways thank you guys have a good night and peace